Hello guys, welcome on this channel. My name is Jacob and in today's video I would like to let you know that we finally closed the long distance relationship with Gwen. We closed all the boundaries and finally we can be together. Well, for now we are living here in the Czech Republic, so our content in the upcoming videos will be mostly from the Czech Republic but who knows how it will be in the future or where it will be in the future so I am not alone here as I said today I am here with Gwen we are doing some house chores, how do you this but later we will take you outside so you can see the village area in the Czech Republic we will take two little creatures one is here with me and see you later so guys we just finished all the house chores for now and I will just take my three girls there is one girl the second black one and the third white one <laughs> is missing Where's Bella? Tessie Let's go. Two body garments. Are you excited to go out? Who wants to be on the rope? Huh? The white one. The white one is more aggressive. She's going to be on the rope. Right, Essie? This is how living in the West. You have to wear so much clothes because it's cold outside. It's actually not that necessary to wear that many clothes. We Czech people are living here for the whole life. So we are keen on cold weather. But people from West Asian countries, it's quite a shock for them. So of course they need more layers. Yeah, it is. Spring is coming. That's a good... <coughs> Like this it looks around our village, but still we are trying to escape to the nature and I'm really happy I we don't live in the city, I really don't belong to the city, I can imagine living in the concrete, concrete forest, no she's not. So let's go. When we've spent some time in the Philippines with Gwen, what I found out Filipino people are not much into walking. It's really... Then walking for just 50 meters, they will just grab a motorbike. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Why is because that? Because of hot weather and we cannot bear just walking in the hot weather. I see. That's the reason. So you are now getting keen on walking. Yeah. How is that? Good. Improvement. Mm -hmm. We were making videos on her phone and at once it showed the message like your storage is full and you cannot make videos anymore. And Gwen was saying, no, oh, let's use my phone, it's better than yours and everything is better and it's iPhone and so here is the power of iPhone. Here is the lake, it's still, it's still frozen. Oh. Let's see if they will decide to explore. So you can see, guys, it's really cold, cold here in the Czech Republic because the water is still frozen. She wants to step on it, so let's see. Yeah. 
the spring is coming so the temperatures are not that low anymore the ice is melting there is in the middle there is little cute house for the ducks frogs so now we are finally outside of the village so many would feel like in the Republic here winter it's very cold so people need to use woods coal for heating then our booties would be frozen right yeah. it's quite smelly here because here at the back is a farm they are breeding cows one is complaining that the smell is pretty disgusting I don't mind it because I'm already keen on that for working on the farm on the farm for so many years but I understand for some people it can be uncomfortable you are going to the nature to breathe the fresh air but the only you get is the horrible smell of cow's manure Are the birds hiding during winter for sure? There are will be there will be freezing cold and it'll be hard for them. Well some of the birds are still here. Ducks, swans in the river, but some of the birds are in the autumn flying to the south because it's warm there. South? Yeah. Like the south like Spain, Greece, like that and in the spring they are coming back because it's getting warmer again oh yeah so I'm excited what it's gonna be You are older than me. <laughs> so you can see guys it's as I said Filipino are not much into walking. <laughs> so we already need the support. <laughs> so for now we will go to this forest. So many missing people when they enter the forest. So many. Why? I don't know why. They are kidnapped. But for now, baby, you are lucky because you have your bodyguard. Yeah. Black and white. Yin Yang. You are like Gandalf, but you don't know who is Gandalf. Do you? What? It's a character from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so, why there's a tree house here? Here, <laughs> the tree house. I don't know how it's called in English, but it's for hunters. They will just climb and check the animals and then they are shooting them oh, is it locked? so guys I think we are lost and I don't know where we are going he promised me that we are going to the spring but hmm, he doesn't know anything about this forest and I wonder if we can go home safely Czech is actually a very beautiful country the most um, the most amazing thing that I like check is the nature nature is, is quite different from the Philippines though Philippines has so many beaches like amazing beaches um, check is quite opposite they have 
most of the time lakes and they don't have beaches and have seas but their forest and um, the nature here is very beautiful and as I researched it's also one of the um, safest country in the world so not much crime actually in Czech and a very peaceful country to live say it's more fun in the Philippines, right? That's true. So many activities in the Philippines. So many crimes. You can go everywhere you want. Day and night. There are so many activities and fun. Beaches, clubs, um, with friends and everything. But here in Czech, though, it's a good country to live in for having it peaceful. Um, Fun is not much, um, in my opinion, because, you know, it's winter and it's cold, so people choose to just, um, inside the house, and do things, work, and family. But one thing I also noticed, Czech people really love outdoors. They love hiking, they love walking, they love doing activities outside. Um, and like in the Philippines, we are mostly inside of the house because, you know, it's a warm country, it's hot, so we mostly choose to just stay in our house and go out during the night. <laughs> we are like owls. No, owls is different. Owls are sleeping at night and going out in the morning. No, they are sleeping in the morning and going out at night. Yeah, we are like owls in the Philippines. <laughs> So it was quite a good hike today, I guess. Yeah. Yep. After for the whole one, we're just staying in the house. Yeah, actually, Gwen is working. It's basically like a nine shift, starting 4 p.m. 4 p.m. and ending 12 a.m. Yeah, sometimes two or more p.m. Yeah. So in the morning, she is just at home because. My shift is morning and her is like an afternoon night shift. So during the week we cannot spend much time together, but during weekends we are like this. Trying to get outside, spending time together. issues now because you said earlier we're going to stream but we came there and there's no stream because so where's the stream we haven't reached the dog where can you see that what where you can see that <laughs> can you see that <gasps> it's here when i throw me you're really kidding me <laughs> <laughs> Have a Baby, dream. You're kidding me. Have a dream, girl. Not because. You're really kidding me. Here I thought it's it waterfalls. And water not suitable for drinking. <laughs> Amazing, right? So guys, as you can see we just found out the stream what I promised I will show to Gwen. It's not even. It is. Better than nothing. So, thank you guys Actually, for... Actually, I expected it's like a Philippine stream, like waterfalls, there's a river, you know, like that. She, I'm disappointed, but... She expects But still, it's too amazing, much. you know, like, how come they're, like, preserving this kind of nature? In the Philippines, we call it Lugut. <laughs> In, um, yeah, we call it Lugut, and it's just everywhere, and it's very dirty. It's amazing, actually. They're giving it for animals. Nice check. Nice check. So we did really good job, check people. 
And now guys, we are going back home, so it was a good adventure. <laughs> See you again next time.